Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. Okay, so this is going to be a Sagittarius Sun, Sagittarius Moon, and uh, Sagittarius Rising. Weekly Tarot reading, June 17 to June 23rd, a 2019. And uh, bear with me a second, guys, to shuffle the cards. Oops. And we are to jump straight away uh, into the spread. All right, <clears throat> so the first card which represents the topic for uh, Sagittarius week, that will be uh, the Four of Wands, followed by the next card which stands for the challenges that Sagittarius needs to overcome throughout the week, that will be the King of Swords. Afterwards, what we have is the positive aspect of the week, that will be the Seven of Pentacles. And then the last card that stands here for the guidance that uh, Sagittarius uh, or Taro is giving to Sagittarius, this is going to be the, seven, the uh, Nine of Swords, excuse me. So, okay, so once again, uh, Four of Wands, it is uh, the uh, topic. Afterwards, it is the King of Swords, which is the challenge, followed by the seven of pentacles which stands for the positive aspect and the final one is going to be the the nine of swords standing for a guidance all right sagittarius is so um <clears throat> or sagittarius so this week uh it uh, looks like that something unpredictable is to happen that is to happen in your favor okay and um while until this very moment you have been dependable on a certain person or a society of people, let's say you're depending on a friend of yours uh, or you're depending on, on a, a colleague of yours and etc, etc. That dependency will no longer be in place because simply you are going to settle the scores, if I may express it that way. Or uh, as well, this reading is very beneficial if you are waiting something to happen, right? You're waiting for a confirmation, you're waiting someone to approach you, you're waiting for certain funds or finances to come around. Well, this reading points that most likely they are going to come around, which again is going to allow you to exit or get out of certain dependency. So uh, the general topic here of the week, this is the Four of Wands. And Four of Wands stands as a completion of an important cycle of uh, undertaking or of life in general. Now, this ain't a new beginning, all right? It's, it, it's not a ending and a new beginning, but a completion of a cycle, meaning that one step at the task is already completed. And from here, you know, you can use that completion as a... Uh, as a foundation, should I say that way, and proceed on forward with the next step of the undertaking. Just to give you an example of that is um, this card could manifest itself as a, a plan for a, a personal business is now developed, all right? This plan, it is, yeah, it is developed, it is secured, it is already established. And now as the plan is ready, that means the, um, the completion of a cycle is in present and now it's time for you to start executing that plan. 
if we're talking about relationship, it could be that, you know, you're dating with a certain person and this cycle of development ends a successful ending. So now it's time to start thinking of an engagement, you know, or start living together and etc, etc. So it's like moving to the next level due to the fact that you have attended to a, a very important detail and you did not allow that detail to be overlooked. The accompanied card here, this is going to be the Sun card. So the Sun card stands as a uh, um, active supporter to the uh, Four of Wands. And the Sun card only points that from now on, things are only going to expand, things are only going to grow, and you are going to be quite satisfied from that growth. And on top of that, guys, uh, things in this undertaking from now on are going to develop very very naturally so it's it's unlikely that you are going to be surprised unpleasantly by a, a certain events or people for that matter so uh the challenge itself it's a person here which is the king of swords and um, as you now your as now you do have your completion of that cycle you are to move on on the next stage like just like i said the thing is that you are not in use you have no use for that person into this next stage that you're gonna <clears throat> that you're going to embark so what that person does well they try to obstruct you of moving into this uh, next ne next stage now it is very unlikely that they're gonna take any physical uh, actions towards you like physically obstructing you to do so uh, what the King of Swords is good at is bending truth, bending facts, you know, and uh, it's not like presenting fictions like facts. This is what facts like this is a page of swords uh, <clears throat> specialty, but the King of Swords, it's a uh, very... Uh, subtle into um, masking, you know, the full, uh, the full truth, the full picture, the full reality. And uh, the more you talk with him, King of Swords, uh, it could be, uh, it's unlikely to be uh, your, for example, husband or a wife or your boyfriend or a girlfriend. It's more like could appear as a friend of yours. It could appear as a, it appears as a third party, all right? Because what you're doing right now, it suits them indirectly. And now as you're no longer going to do it, and you're going to make a move toward the next stage of, uh, of your development, you you basically no longer contribute for their well-being and that severely disrupts them. Uh, the accompanied card here, this is going to be the, um, the Emperor card formation. It is a uh, active friends and uh, the disruption is big. I mean, the disruption of that person is big. Uh, basically, they, I, it's, it's likely that they're going to fail in what they're doing if you move into the next stage of, uh, of your development. For example, uh, you start, you get engaged, you know, for one or another reason that could ruin their plans. I don't know why, you know, or if you get promoted, that as well could ruin the plan of, uh, of your colleague and uh, it, it will severely, uh, you know, influence their, uh, their future unfoldment. And that's why with these couple of cards, you need to know that that is going to be a, a fearsome resistance, even if it doesn't look like that way at, uh, at the first glance. So you got to be very careful with this third party participant, if I may express it that way. And uh, you have to be careful what kind of uh, testimonies you are taking under consideration for throughout uh, the week. Which leads us to the next card, guys. That will be uh, the uh, positive aspect of your week. And we have the Seven of Pentacles. So Seven of Pentacles plays a role as this... Um, these circumstances uh, you required in order to complete that uh, cycle of development here, they're lurking just behind the corner and they are going to come around. Now, as soon as that happened, uh, you immediately going to be able to have a room to catch up your breath and to uh, enough time, you know, to systemize the strategy of how you're going to move on from now on. Additionally to that, the Seven of Pentacles as a positive card, it does point that it is very unlikely you will allow something to uh, be destroyed. Destroyed in a sense of that, uh, you know, something to escape your grasp. Because, like I said, you're going to have the time, you know, to think about it or rather like to create the necessary strategies. And uh, 
as you do so, you are going to take everything under consideration and you will be able to uh, establish the necessary measures, you know, to obtain control over the entirety of your situations. The accompanied card here that is going to be the devil formation, passive, uh, passive supporters. So it seems uh, with these couple of cards as your situation from now on is to start unfolding naturally and you will um, embark on a, a new stage, a, a higher stage of your undertaking with the devil card here as a um, passive supporter to the seven of pentacles. It seems that your strategy is going to be very meticulously uh, performed. It's like a chess game, all right? And you are going to be definitely, uh, you will be definitely two moves ahead, being able to predict everything. And on top of that, you will, well, basically you will dictate the rules of the game as the game move on forward. And uh, finally, what we have for you guys, that will be the uh, nine of swords which stands for the guidance that Tarot has for you. And uh, with the Nine of Swords as a guidance we do, uh, it is kind of like taking advantage of this time which you will be granted to catch up your breath. And the Nine of Swords asks you to be objective toward a, um, the future situations and, uh, you know, as well, your plan in general. So you can reach to the bottom of it. You can reach to the bottom of the or, or the root of the, of the issues that you are to have because you will very well know what, you, what kind of an issues you are going to have with your undertaking moving on forward from now. Address them accurately and correctly and uh, take how can I place a full responsibility of what is going to come out from your actions or your inactions, that is. The accompanied card here, this is going to be the five of uh, pentacles formation. It is a uh, active enemies and uh, it's about addressing the, uh, the small stones that can turn over the carriage along the way, you know, and uh, recognizing that even though the, the unfoldment is going to be natural, there still could uh, be a, a situation where the things can go south and uh, you need to address that situation before the situation actually arises and snowballs. Okay, so that being said, uh, Sagittarius, this was your weekly tarot reading for June 17th to June uh, 23rd, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys, and uh, we are going to see each other around. Until then... Bye.